Good morning, guys. Um, we are getting ready to head to Walmart. Um, it is actually morning this time instead of like lately when I've been filming at like four o'clock in the afternoon. It's actually morning. Um, so I got up and took Yachty out and gave Panda water and all that fun stuff. And now we're getting ready to head to Walmart. Um, also, I have a lesson tonight, which I'm super excited about. I can't wait to go riding again. But um, while we're at Walmart, I was looking up, um, I was trying to figure out like high calorie stuff. And you know, I've been drinking those and sure. But I was like, I wonder if I can make like a high calorie smoothie. So I came up with a recipe that will give me 1,106 calories per serving. Um, so I'm going to get the ingredients while I'm at Walmart and I will show it to you and make it with you guys um, when we get back. But <coughs> um, I did not sleep very well last night. I was having nightmares all night. Plus the dog was whining and the cats were chasing each other. So I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. But um, I feel pretty good this morning. And um, yeah, energy wise, lung wise, total, I feel pretty good. So. Um, I just wanted to say good morning, and I hope you guys have a great day, whatever you guys are doing today. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that I came up with. Um, I'm going to start by blending, don't mind the whining, that's the dog. I'm going to start by blending the milk and the Ensure with the frozen fruit to get it, um, not so chunky. It's melted a little bit on the way home, so I'm thinking it'll be a little bit easier to blend up but we'll see and then go from there so I'm gonna guesstimate yeah you guys fell over and died I'm gonna guesstimate and do like maybe five of these to start off with some are big and some are small and then for the blueberries <clears throat> do like a, a spoonful like this. We'll see how that does. Now we've got this beautiful purple color. I'm going to add the banana and about four or five tablespoons, uh, teaspoons of the sweetened condensed milk. And last but not least, I'm going to add a few big spoonfuls of yogurt to thicken it up. You can't really tell through the red glass, but it ends up being like this beautiful um, purple color. You can kind of see it right there. So the only thing left to do now is a taste test. It's, um, it's moderately thick. It's how I like it. I don't like them super chunky. So let's see. Yeah, really good. I mostly taste banana. Banana and something very sweet, which is probably the condensed milk. I ended up putting about a third of the thing in there. But it's mostly banana. So, definitely make sure I take enzymes with this, because this is right here is 1,106 calories. So... That's a win. Hey guys, so I just got back from my third riding lesson and I rode a different horse this time because Mr. she said he had a cut on his leg so she was letting that heal. So I rode a horse named Cat. Um, he was really sweet. Uh, he was short, he was smaller than Mr. which was kind of nice because I'm short. Um, but ooh man, his trot is bouncy, <laughs> like bouncy as heck. And, um, I was trying to get him to canter, and he was just, like, doing what I like to call the death trot, where you, you're just like this, and he's just trotting. Um, so I cantered on him once, but he has a really hard canter, so I did most of the trotting. And, um, <clears throat> she had me doing, almost the whole time, stirrupless trotting. So, it was great. It's great for my balance. You know, it felt good to be able to trot without stirrups and be confident and stuff. But I am sore in places that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> so I'm about to go take a hot bath. 
Um, but I mean, it was it was a lot of fun, and I prefer Mister, but it was nice to ride a different horse and kind of get my confidence up because <clears throat> I I struggled with years and years for trotting, and I still do a little bit. And I kind of thought, well, oh, I'm uh, you know I'm able to sit, you know confidently on mister because he has such a smooth trot so the fact that i was able to ride a horse with a really bouncy trot and still remain seated and <clears throat> balanced um albeit it took a little bit more work but it was it was good it was um it was nice to realize that maybe finally i'm starting to get better at trotting and um not struggle with it so much so when we came home there was a beautiful sunset which i'm going to put in now And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. So thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.